Open this until our patient is seated. So we're going to go ahead and open this. Pull from the two plastic ends. And then we will put this on our tray. This is our HVE, our high volume ejector for our suctioning evacuator. It goes with a little window up so when we're suctioning, as much as we can. This is our saliva ejector, our slow speed suction. Goes in, make sure when you remove this, you always leave the gray part behind. Push hard, goes in. You can also bend. A lot of hygienists leave that in the mouth when they're doing their cleanings. We have our pumice. We will add water to that in just a moment. A bite block, if the patient's getting tired, we can use this to go into the mouth and it will hold their mouth open like a mouth prop so they don't have to keep trying to fight to keep their mouth opening. So it keeps closing, replace this. It just helps them bite down on it so their jaw can relax. We have a mixing well, micro brushes, they have little fuzzy ends on the tops of them that you can just bend and mix things with. We have a trophy cup that when we use to polish the tooth, we will use the pumice and the trophy cup. We won't use the normal polish for after getting a cleaning because there's fluoride in here. The sealant won't stick to the teeth if we use fluoride. We have our cotton two by twos and cotton rolls. We have our etchant material. This is sulfuric acid. It goes onto the tooth first, rinse it away. And then we have our, our sealant material that gets light cured onto the tooth. This is our hand piece our, that we will place onto the unit. The two little circles on the bottom match to the two little circles on the hand piece. They just go inside there and we gently tighten this onto the hand piece. You don't want to be forceful, just gentle. As soon as it's done, and then you put it back into it. This is our articulating paper for when the seal is done. We tap the teeth, tap, 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 to check the bite to make sure the sealant isn't too high. It's carbon paper. Our mirror, hand mirror, to check the tooth from both sides and make sure we've done a good job. Our air water syringe. It goes on to the air water syringe by pushing the first circle back with your thumb all the way in, you'll hear a little click. It has little locks on it that when you push it in and you let go and you gently tug, it locks it in there. So they have air and you have water. So that you can't it. Perfect. The rest over here, we have a pair of cotton pliers to use as pickups if we need to pick things up, put around the cheeks for isolation. And we have our probe and explorer. We're not gonna use the probe, but we will use the explorer to check and make sure when we're done that all sides of the sealant are sealed. So we're gonna go ahead and lay the patient back in a serpine position and get started. Okay. We'll raise them up a little bit, lay them back. We won't be able to get underneath them. We 
have our rheostat, we want to make sure the little knob is to the left side or away from the dot so we're not pushing out water. We don't want water to come through our hand piece. So I'm just going to drop a couple drops of water in, oops, into there, that's okay. You can take that with the little cotton roll and soak up some of the water if you got too much. That's good. We'll use our explorer and just mix it up. So it's just going to be used to clean off the top surface of the tooth. We want to make sure everything on this tooth is clean and clear before we try to place our sealant. The little profi cup just latches into onto the profi handpiece. This toggles moves around so we don't have to. You push the pedal, it spins. I'm gonna grab a little cup. I'm just going to get a little bit of this pumice. It's on our own. And my mirror. So I would be retracting the tongue. Ready, bro? I'm gonna do number 19. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean off the top of the tube into all the little grooves. Clean into everywhere. All the grooves. All the wing grooves, everywhere. And broke suction for me. A bar of reception. So now she'll just pack everything that comes from this ACE. So I'll have the patient turn their head just a slightly bit, and here we go. So as the water goes, she's just going to catch it. Okay. Oh, I'm going to air. Whew. Dry it off real good. I'm just gonna take a cotton roll and make sure the tooth is clean and clear from any debris from that. It is nice. A little bit of air, make sure it's all nice and dry. This is etch, it is sulfuric acid. This removes the smear layer from the tooth, it makes the tooth white and chalky so the sealant will adhere to the tooth. So we're just gonna place a small amount onto the into the uh the, excuse me, the pits and fissures of the tooth. We make sure with all of the materials we use, each time we use them, the tips are removed and a new one is put on once this is wiped down uh, after being used. You never use the same tip again. Each tip is used one time per patient and then thrown away. Uh, if we're doing multiple sealants on one patient, we can use that tip for that patient the whole time, but as soon as we're done, it will be thrown away and cleared and a new tip made. The acid needs to sit on the tooth, the etchant needs to sit on the tooth for about 15 to 20 seconds. So we'll let that sit there. While that's sitting there, it's making the tooth white and chalky so the next step will adhere. Okay, let's go ahead and rinse it off. So she'll suction off most of the top, get the big blunt of it, and then we'll gently just rinse. We'll brush it off and then dry the tooth. Now that it's nice and dry, we'll go ahead and place our sealant material. The same thing with the sealant. Once we use this tip, it will be taken off and we will use place a new tip once the material has been wiped down itself. A thin layer throughout each of the pits and fissures on the tooth. Doesn't need to be a lot. We want to make sure the patient's bite is off. You can use the tip as a way to make it smeared through there. See, we're not gonna make it too thick. Always make sure you're also remembering to use your fulcrum. So that way you do have control over what you're doing with your other hand and kind of like a stance on the mouth. And then what we'll do is we're gonna take our light, hit our power button. I'm gonna make sure we're safe with this. And we're gonna light cure it. Don't look at the light. Wanna be 
This orange the little cover. light here is used so that way you can look through it and look at the light without it causing any harm to you. As you can see, there's no color when you look through this light so it's better for your eyes versus when you do look from the side, you can see the blue UV light that may cause a little harm to your eyes. Nothing too serious, it's just very uncomfortable, may strain your eyes, and it's definitely not something to continuously look mm -hmm. at. So always make sure you are looking through this little glass protected screen if you ever do need to look at it. So I'll take our mirror and explore. And we're going to check and make sure all the little pits and fissures are sealed. We wanna make sure that they don't feel rough like the one behind it that they feel nice and glassy and sealed. We're going to take our articulating paper and have them tap, tap, tap. We're biting on just the outside of the tooth where we did touch, so our sealant looks good. You can take a cotton, wipe everything down and rinse out the patient. and move on to the next. 